Damn, after, the, after the letter L come the letter M, so yeah. I know them, I don't take so many L's, I know them M's next. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm fucking with that. It's a trap of the year, Mr. Trap, Jesus himself, scarf for the plug. Yeah, I'm tuning in with the voice of the youth, Taco Talk TV, let's get it. Taco Talk TV. Cool, Taco Talks TV. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Talks TV. Taco Talks TV. Man, young Jose. Rest in peace to swipe on YC. Taco Talks TV. I'm fucking with that A. Hey, send that one one time. Niggas probably ain't hear that. After the letter L, at the letter L with the letter M. I done took so many losses. I know them M's next. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And and we talked about this already, but just more so into it. You talked about you talked about um, trap shit. You know what I'm saying? But you you teach it into a lesson. Like I think I think about uh, vegan. Think about way out. Um, Make it count. Make it count. You know what I'm saying? All of these that really make a nigga, okay, let me stop. You know what I'm saying? Just moving all some stupid shit, all some clout shit, but really push to go chase a bag. You know what I'm saying? Put away $50 a day. Shit yeah. like that. Shit that you, that you, that regardless, like I could never ever really go broke because I know that, you know what I'm saying? I, every day I took all the ones out of my pocket and put it in the shoebox. You know what yeah. I mean? I take all the ones and files, all the coins, I still save my coins. Yeah. Shit like that. Shit that I, the habits that I would, I could never break that's going never allowed me to really go broke, you know yeah. what I mean? Because I was really taught how to hustle. Hell yeah. I was raised, I was, I was raised how to hustle. Raised like, to be a hustler. I was raised to be a hustler. I was raised to be an entrepreneur, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And you might say, you know, even the weed, they nigga might down the weed or whatever you selling, you know what I'm saying? It's not what you do, it's how you do it. So yeah. I definitely, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's why I teach, that's why I rap the way I rap, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I want to pass that message to somebody else. A lot of these niggas not being raised in the streets. They yeah. just getting throw out there. Yeah, hell yeah. Or hey. just jumping out there by themselves. Some yeah. niggas don't even gotta be in the street. Yeah, they just wanna yeah. be like, think it's fun, it's cool. Yeah, and uh, fuck around and fuck up. This shit ain't a trend, man. Hey, let's talk about um how you gonna push that into palm pushing. You know what I'm saying? Them same message, are you pushing? Is it a similar, um, a similar concept that you want to yeah. push or is Palm Pusher telling a different story? Palm Pusher is just continuing the same story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The story. It's, just, it's like I said, it's reality rap, so I'm just giving you my life story yeah. anyway. So it's called Palm Pusher because we pushing palms, we, we pushing buttons, we make yeah. this stuff happen, we manifesting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we, done, we done graduated to creator status, so now everything we speak come into existence, nah, you know what real. I mean? So really, that's, you know what, that's what Palm Pusher is all about. That's yeah. the, the ground, that's the background to that, you know what I'm saying? So that's, Palm, Palm Pusher gonna have some real hits on it, man. I'm talking about 16 songs. Yeah. It's like, type, it's gonna be like a real project, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay, I can dig that. And, and what type of, what type of features are you putting on there? Oh um, man, they're not all solidified yet. So you know what I'm saying? That's just actually a secret. Let's just. Yeah. I, I've been working with a lot of real artists. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't even. Even I'm not even 25 percent. I've been recording. But I'm not even yeah. nowhere near done. I don't, I don't rush for my projects. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I want to drop in February, March. Like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Begin the top of the year, but I couldn't even tell you like what the what the what the what the what, the, what it's gonna look like. Cause, yeah. Because I'm still working. We still cooking. What type of sounds is he pushing for in there? Definitely, I wanna, uh, I wanna make it more catchier so people can let, hear what I'm saying. I yeah. feel like a lot of times my messages be going over people's heads just because they can't recite it, yeah. like how they would be able to recite something that's more dumbed down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going, I'm a, not, not really dumb, dumb it, down. it down, but I'm gonna make it more catchier, but still drop the same, yeah. drop the same jewels in there. You just, you know what I'm saying? Just look, just, just, just still, just, just listen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm fucking with that. And when you start slowing down your bars. Or, or just making them more recitable. What is that like in the studio? You know what I'm saying? Like when you go through from, you already know how to do it one way, but you know you got to recreate a different way. Like, mm -hmm. is that process hard for you? Nah, I actually enjoy it because you can pressure make down. So when you put yourself in a pressure position, you're going to see what you made of, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're going to see if you can really, if you just stuck, if you if you really made for this, for this because it's, music industry is trendy. Yeah. So you're gonna have to reinvent yourself over and over again. You should wanna reinvent yourself yeah. over and over again. You know what I mean? You should never let somebody you know, conform you into a box. Yeah. That's how I feel, you know what I'm saying? And, and put you in one in one lane, one way. 
So it, it's enjoyable, it's fun, it makes it fun, it keeps you motivated because if I can on the studio and make the same song yeah. over and over again just on a different beat, I would burn myself out. I wouldn't yeah. even be excited to do this no more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it is it a specific kind of beat you like, like certain instruments you like to hear in a beat, like keys, a guitar? Uh, yeah, I like all that. I like I like I like different beats. You know what I'm saying? Like if you listen to my old, any of my old music, the salsas, you know what I'm saying, yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that, uh, Colombiana. I like you know what I'm saying. So I enjoy different type of beats, but I, I like the trap beats because I know that's what people want to hear. People like to nod their head and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and rock out. So you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna definitely give you a best of both worlds. Yeah, and talk about how you how you start liking mob movies. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mob bosses. Mob like bosses. Uh, I just I mean I, I love the way uh, the mafia constructed their their empire yeah. back in the uh, in the 90s and the, well not 90s and the 80s and yeah. whatever. You know what I'm saying? Back then. Before my time, the way they they stuck to one code, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They were structured, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. moved a certain way. They had the commission. They had they they, they made meetings, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they really, you it know was what I'm authentic. saying? Yeah, they they really was in the outside and they really, you know what I'm saying? Had a, a purpose in the, yeah. in the in the direction in the street, you know what I'm saying? Even though they was in the street, they had a direction. They had a purpose. They wasn't playing. It was respect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was loyalty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All rats died. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So they dressed a certain way. Way, they yeah. carried themselves a certain way. You didn't. Some, you know, what I'm saying, some families didn't deal with drugs because it de destroyed their community. Some families didn't do this because of yeah. it. You know, what I'm saying they stood on whatever they did. They stood on it though. Yeah. And you know, what I'm saying so that really fascinated me because, like I said, that's how I kind of was raised. You know, what yeah. I'm saying? Hell yeah, those morals really build into the person yeah. that you become in the long term. Facts. Um, talking about morals, how do you stay humble? And how do you stay humble and not appear to be, you know, sweet or, you know, what I'm saying so so that people walk all over you. Yeah. What's the perfect balance between it? Cause, well, I, one one th one thing with me personally, you know what I'm saying. Every time I I think I'm getting a big head, God know how to humble me back down. You know what I'm saying. Every time I every time I feel like I'm bigger than what I am, or because you know what I'm saying, I have to be human. You know yeah. what I mean. Hell yeah. Every single time, every single time, it never fails. Like some event happen, I take a loss, I will go to jail. Yeah. I always get back humble down. You know, one of the hum most humbling experiences when I went went through Jackson State Prison, and they had. A hundred naked men standing up to butt, and they cut your hair off, and they cut your beard off, and you know what I'm saying? Right. And you know what I'm saying? They yell at you, spinning, you know what I'm saying? All oh, you talking to you, all type of crazy, and there's nothing you can do. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You ain't nothing but a number. You're not spot for the plug. You're not yeah. whoever you are. You just you a ass naked nigga in front of them, and they gonna slap you and tell you to lay on the ground. You know what I'm saying? And dare you to do something because they're going to beat you to sleep and throw you in the hole, still ass naked, and yeah. then tell you to not go, and go through the process again. You ready? You ready to you ready to start this over? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go through the, you know what I'm saying? If, you know what I'm saying? So that, that was one of the most humbling experiences of my whole life, and I, I pray that you know, nobody should really have to go through that. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. de it's dehumanizing. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? Every, so that's like I said, every time. Whenever I feel like I, I always, that's in my head forever. So, you know what I'm saying? In my life, I went through that in life. So, with God, to show you, look, if you think you, you know what I'm saying, you think you're bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? You could, I could take you in, you could be, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You could be you could a be slave. Like you, could be, you could be like this again. Yeah. Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, definitely. I, I can fuck with that. It's a lot of, God definitely do be having a lot of humbling experience when a nigga gets through arrogance. Yeah, the fact, arrogance, I think he hates that the most. Yeah. And so, look, when you talk about, I want to go back to, to people that you, I don't want to say look up to because you, you haven't like clearly explained, but how you feel about like Pee Wee and Gucci? And yeah, I respect them with the utmost, utmost respect. They get yeah. the utmost respect for me because they've been outside. They paved the way for somebody like me, yeah. you know what I'm saying, to even to speak what I'm talking about, you know what I'm yeah. saying, to say what I say. I really um, like what they stood on. They didn't really switch up. They didn't sell, sell, they sell their morals and compromise their self yeah. for the industry. Because yeah. I'm sure Pee Wee could have whatever, ooh, 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 whatever, yeah. and, and he'll be the biggest trap artist in the world, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know what I'm saying, Gucci could've whoop, 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 yeah, and he yeah. would be, you know what I'm saying? But then, you know what I'm saying, he stood they down, stay and, down. And he stayed down, and now they at where they at, and it might, you know what I'm saying, it might've took them a lot, it might took them longer, but, they, you know what I'm saying, they got the hearts of the streets, yeah. so they can never go broke, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. so when, even when the industry chew you up and spit you out, you know what I'm saying? They still got the streets because of how real they kept it. So yeah. I, they got their utmost respect for me. So the, the people we belong with, the young schoolers, yeah. all of them, all, you know what I'm saying? RIP Bank, the bank roll fresh and yeah. people still here. You know what I'm saying? I, I love the way they, they, they moved, the way they, they orchestrated their career, they handled everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's kind of the people I look up to as far as the way they handled that. What's, what's your favorite projects by, by, by Pee Wee? I'm fucking with. Um, 
I want to say Blue Eminem too. Yeah, I like Blue Eminem one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like Long Way Sinatra. I like goddamn Roll Around, Jiggle In. I'm a, I'm a street pharmacist. I see, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like all that, you know what I'm saying? But for Gucci, uh, it would be Roger Taylor University, State of Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, you know what I'm saying? For Young Scooter. Uh, young Scooter, young, I, I mean, I, don't, I, I like I like records from Young Scooter. I don't got a specific project I like from Young Scooter. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just like my favorite. I'ma just go to. But Jill King was definitely a great project. You know what I'm saying? That's something that's in my mind right now. That's you know what I'm saying. That. But yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, talk about your relationship with DMV artists before we hop into the random questions. Oh yeah. Uh, like, I love the DMV, so right now, you know what I'm saying? DMV got a lot of politics. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't go about it, so I don't really give a fuck about they beef or what they got, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? So I fuck with, I, I fuck with who fuck with me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I fuck with the goon, I fuck with Bruno, I fuck with Lil Dude, yeah. I fuck with JG Riff, that's my nigga, can't yeah. fuck with me. All these niggas done been to the A and fuck with me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I done been up here and fuck with me, nigga yeah. been to the spot, we done smoked, we done kicked it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, being big flop and just did some hard ass shit, you know what I'm saying? He embraced me with open arms, man. He a real ass nigga. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Who else I done work with? I done shook the travel. Shook the travel, man. She man shook the travel. We got make make some shake back to back. With my with my nigga Lil T. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shook then came to the A and fuck with me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So these are genuine niggas that came outside, you know what I'm saying? That's like you know, yeah. the Shabazz, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You know what I'm saying? Me and Q done linked up through the end of it. He, he showed love. From, yeah. He was the first one, the first niggas yeah, that was yeah. made what was that, to what was that song Soul Food. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so was like that. He opened, you know what I'm saying? Because he had a wave crazy, yeah. especially a couple years ago. Like yeah. He was buzzing like nobody else yeah. in the whole city. So for him to even, you know what I'm saying, show me love, I respect that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I love the DMV artists. They all yeah. have, you know what I'm saying? They all, everybody has popping Simba. Free my niggas Simba, I'm man. Free Simba. In fact, I put, Simba, I put money on Simba books, and that's on a lot. Yeah. Facts, man. That's my young nigga, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, facts, man. I be sending money to Ruger, man. I put, yeah. I put money on some books so he can see the free my nigga Simba, man. Yeah. Facts, yeah. They don't even know I fuck with Simba. Me yeah. and Simba go crazy way back. Hell <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. We gonna hop into the five random questions oh, wow. we'll start for the plug. Um, yeah. Make sure y'all stay tuned. Look, five random questions, right? Wild ass questions to really see what, what you thinking. You know what I'm saying? We got a whole line up to see how Scarfo was thinking, what was on his mind, see how he really think. You know what I'm saying? But these random questions, y'all just gonna see. What's your definition of a real nigga? Yeah. Just trying to get, like I spoke on earlier, just not trying to be something that you're not. Man, you ain't gotta put on a show, like an act. Like if you're the same person, when you wake up, when you go to sleep, when you run your mom, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't saying you handle everybody the same way, but you the same personality, you the same person, no matter who, where you at, who you around, just being the same person, just being you, my nigga, you ain't gotta put on for nobody, I ain't saying I don't care what nobody think, because your first impression definitely gets you, you know what I'm saying, you get you indoors, you close the doors, you don't even definitely care about, you know what I'm saying, how you, how you being perceived in the world, you know what I'm saying, you don't want niggas looking at you no type of way, like, you know, ooh, ooh, cause niggas will force your hand, and now you gotta do something you ain't wanna do, because, Niggas didn't respect you from the beginning because they thought you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Come with your A game from the joint beginning, but just being, just being you, son. Hell yeah. Just being you. Just got them finding something that you stand on and stand on it. Okay, okay, I'm fucking with that. What's your favorite snacks? Top three. Uh, Salty, sweet, and probably candy. Every time I go to the gas station, I get the, you know, the chocolate chip granola bars. Okay, torts. <laughs> uh, like, what else? Like, you know what I'm saying? What about chips? Chips. I like the, the goddamn sun. I like the cheddar sun chips or the, or the Pringles. You ain't fucking with neither. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, then. What about what you drinking? Probably Fago? Nah, I ain't, I ain't drinking no Fago. I get Gatorades and shit like Red Bull and shit that okay. keep me moving. Okay. Keep me moving. I be on the go, you know what I'm saying? This yeah. is like really what I drink on an everyday basis. I don't drink yeah. soda, shit like that. What about water? You drinking a yeah, lot of I'm water? Yeah, I'm drinking a lot of water. Man. Okay. Drinking a lot of water and staying hydrated. Okay. She's in funnel or Rellos? Hey, to be honest with you, during the day when I'm jugging, I smoke my little Swish in 25s, but I gotta be on point. You know? So I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to smoke it. I can't smoke 35s all day. I gotta be on point. You know what the fuck I'm jugging all day. Okay. Sheets, but you know what I'm saying? When I'm in the studio, we yeah. relax and we roll up sheets in front of me. You know? okay. I'm in DC, I roll up sheets in front of me. We roll the back with it. It don't matter. Yeah. We smoking as long as it's been exotic. Okay. As long as you roll another Zaza, that's it. I'm okay. having no fucking booth for our lip. Okay. <laughs> I'm fucking with that. Um, what do you want to leave behind? 
Uh, I, mean, I want my goddamn my footprint to be huge on the earth. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I want to leave behind a legacy of it just it just being a. Uh, I just want to be a voice for for entrepreneurs. Man. I just want to, you know, what I'm I want to teach niggas how to how to turn something into nothing, how to plant seeds into into reap into reap the fruits of your labor. Hell yeah, facts. Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just you know, always, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, that's basically what I, that's that's kind of what I want to be, want to be like, remember for. Yeah, I'm fucking with that. And what? what plant happened? good seeds though. Man. Yeah. We ain't, we ain't out here, we ain't out here playing no negative seeds, no evil seeds, man. Yeah. That's not, even though, even though we can, we can get, shit can get wicked, that's not what we, that's not, that's not what we, that's not what we about, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks. And what's the next chain you get? Don't gotta be soon, but what's your, what's your creativity like on your next chain? Uh, I was about to get the 448 chain, man, with the scale, this is the scale 448 oh, yeah, chain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, went, I ain't got a scarf for a piece yet, you know what okay. I'm saying? My mind not really on jury like that right now, you know what okay. I mean? My mind on goddamn. Going up. My mind on going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas ain't, yeah. The jury shit, man. Niggas, niggas, niggas be having jury and that shit be fake, so. Yeah. 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 Niggas be rocking all types yeah. of shit, man, yeah. so it really ain't. Save that for the yeah, other line. Yeah, facts, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Fuck going, man. Yeah, I'm fucking with that. Hey, look, man. You better sign up, motherfucking voice of the youth. Peace out, Girl Scout, Sweet James, I think. See you around like a donut. Make sure you stay tuned to Taco Talks TV, man. And motherfucking palm push the scarf for the plug, man. Coming 2020, you can follow me on all social media handles at S C A R F O the plug. Yeah. Plug. Hell yeah. And we out. Appreciate you, man.